these are real human intestines. Let's stretch them out and see how long they are. As you can see, your intestines are long. Adult intestines can be nearly 30 feet long and your small intestine is actually longer than your large intestine. It's called the small intestine because it's narrow, while the large intestine is much wider. Watch your stomach. Ready, go. Is your hand over your belly button? Those are your intestines. Your stomach is up here on the left side of your body. Now that that's cleared up, what happens inside your stomach? Your stomach is filled with stomach acid. This chalk represents food and this vinegar represents stomach acid. The vinegar breaks down chalk the same way stomach acid breaks down your food. What's the most underappreciated body part? In my opinion, it's the epiglottis. The epi what? The epiglottis is a small flap in the back of your throat that prevents food and drink from entering your trachea. In other words, it keeps you from from choking every time you swallow. Here's how it works. This big pink thing is your tongue, that flap is your epiglottis, the white thing is your trachea, which goes down to your lungs, and behind that is the esophagus, which moves food to your stomach. As you can see, when you swallow, the epiglottis blocks your trachea and guides food down your esophagus. If food and drink get in here, that's when you choke. These are real human intestines. This is the small intestine and it's actually longer than the large intestine. Your small intestine gets liquefied food from your stomach and absorbs nutrients from that food. Then those nutrients are sent to your bloodstream. All the leftovers are sent to the large intestine. The large intestine sucks water out of your poop to solidify it and get it ready for departure. In my last video, I discussed the function of the intestines. Now let's talk about this. When poop arrives at your large intestine, it's in liquid form. Your large intestine's job is to absorb water out of your poop and change it into solid stool. Most of the time, the large intestine does a great job absorbing water and solidifying your poop. But sometimes you get sick and bad bacteria prevent your large intestine from doing its job. As a result, you're left with really runny poop, AKA diarrhea. So every time you have a nice solid poop, Thank your large intestine. This is a model of your small intestine. I'm gonna stretch it out so you can see how long it is. As you can see, your small intestine is not very small at all. In fact, the average small intestine is over 25 feet long. Then how big is the large intestine? Your large intestine is actually shorter than your small intestine. The reason it's called the large intestine is because it's much wider than the small intestine. The large intestine is short and wide, while the small intestine is long and narrow. Now, this is a dissected human tongue, and it's connected to this tube, which includes your trachea and esophagus. Your trachea is for air, and your esophagus is for food. But how does the food know to go down the esophagus and not the trachea? Take a look. At the back of your tongue is a little flap called the epiglottis. When you swallow, the epiglottis bends backwards and covers the trachea. This motion guides food down the esophagus so you don't choke. Now you know, follow for more science videos.